Good morning, family. In today's devotion, let's talk about the day's thought, the blessings of unity. Welcome to today's morning devotion with Pastor Conrad. Be inspired today. Today's thought comes from Psalms 133, verse 1 to 3, which says, Behold, how good and how pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard, even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garment. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. Gary Inrig, in his book, Life in His Body, published in 1971, shared a story that many years ago, two students graduated from the Chicago Kent College of Law. The highest ranking student in the class was a blind man named Overton. And when he received his honor, he insisted that half of the credit should go to his friend, Kaspar Zak. They had met one another in school when the armless Mr. Kaspar Zak had guided the blind man, Mr. Overton, down a flight of stairs. Their acquaintance ripened into friendship and a beautiful example of interdependence. The blind man carried the books which the armless man read aloud in their common study. And thus, the individual deficiency of each was compensated for by the other. After their graduation, they planned to practice law together. No believer is complete by himself. We are to minister to one another as a family. Now, this is an amazing story to me simply because the blind man and the armless man found that by working together, they could both overcome their handicaps and succeed in their endeavors. That is a true testament that we can certainly accomplish much more together than we do just by ourselves. And this is probably why the enemy fights our unity within the body of Christ more than anything else. And just like David said in the text that we read, it is within the power of unity that God commands the blessings. God's blessing is upon us like a flow because we love each other, we help each other, we work together, and we live together in the spirit of unity. Come on, pray with me. Father, I thank you that I can live within the place that you have commanded the blessings to flow by walking in the spirit of unity. Give me the grace to work with my brothers and sisters within the body of Christ and even within my own natural family so that we all walk in the place of your commanded blessings. Amen. Hey, I've got a new video series out called The Five Foolish Mistakes That Keep Christian Believers Stuck, Unhappy and Broke Even Though They Believe God's Promises Belong to Them. You can access it for free over at kingsedition.com. Remember to make time in your busy life to become a part of a good weekly Bible study group so you can connect with others, build your faith, and learn and grow together as a family. Because the truth of life is, you can't succeed alone. If you enjoyed this, share it with your family, share it with your friends, and don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel and page. Blessings. Thank you for joining us. Visit kingsedition.com for more inspirational resources for your journey today.